So hello guys, welcome to another grand interesting video on your Lean Sim Corp channel and in this today's video we are going to understand about industrial engineering and management science okay so we are going to have this as our first chapter and we are going to bring in a series for industrial engineering starting from very initials to all the concepts related to industrial engineering and stuff okay so let us begin our first chapter on industrial engineering and management science so before we begin in this you know we need to understand what is the concept of industrial engineering right so in order to understand what is the concept of industrial engineering we need to understand that who phrased that okay so american institute of industrial engineers has defined the special field of industrial engineering as you know it has been defined as quote unquote concerned with the design improvement and installation of integrated systems of people material equipment and energy so if you see here we are having four major elements you know where industrial engineers would be looking into the field of industrial engineering okay when we talk about it draws upon a specialized knowledge and skills in mathematical physical and social science together so if you see an industrial engineer need to have these three skill sets all together to be an industrial engineer okay and what are the methods then to understand you know the methods of engineering analysis and design to specify predict and evaluate the results to be obtained from such systems okay that is what you also need to have as an industrial engineer now talking about industrial engineering as a broader concept what it is now industrial engineering is an engineering approach you know to the detailed analysis of the use and can cost of the resources of an organization so it is nothing but you know the detailed analysis of the use and the cost of the resources of the organization now what are the main resources when we work in organizations okay we have men we have money we have materials equipment and machinery okay so we have four m's in together right four m's now the industrial engineer what he does is he carries out such analysis in order to achieve the objectives now what are the objectives of organization to increase the productivity to increase the profits right etc okay to achieve that objectives and the policies of organization is what industrial engineers are going to carry out okay and industrial engineers techniques go beyond the mechanical cost factor okay is associated with the organization structure administrative techniques human problems and at the same time he understands the relationship between efficiency and concerns of the working groups so essentially the industrial engineer is engaged in the design of a system and its function is primarily that of management so if industrial engineer had to focus on only one concept to describe it, you know his field of interest and objective it would be productivity improvement and now when we talk about productivity improvement what does that implies okay it implies to have a more efficient use of resources less waste per unit of input supplied higher levels of output you know for fixed level of input supplied and so on so to summarize in industrial engineering the main goal is to have a productivity improvement okay why because you want to get the organization have higher profits now talking about inputs what can be inputs to the system right they can be human effort they can be energies in any of its you know maraid forms materials and invested capital etc so stated the mission would be to try to produce more or to serve better without engrossing the inputs that is the resources been consumed so that is the whole sum picture of concept of industrial engineering 
Now let us understand about history and development of industrial engineering.